What you guys got another video here for you on how to create your own Windows 10 unattended install uh, ISO. So basically you can install Windows 10 without having to attend it or do anything because you're going to create your own answer uh, sheet, which will basically do all those for you when you're installing. So you can walk away and let it install. And you can do that across the network to multiple machines at any one time. So you can see here, we do have the media creation tool on Windows 10, which we need to download so we can get the Windows 10 ISO. So just let uh, the media creation tool do its thing. It just needs to get a few things ready. And uh, basically, once we've done that, we can accept the terms and conditions and then basically get access to the ISO file. Now, there is other versions of Windows 10. If you want to get your hands on them, you can use third party downloads uh, for those. But basically, you can see here, uh, Windows 10 is going to be the latest version on here. So we're, what we're going to do is create an installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, or ISO. Next, we're going to take the tick out of this box here because we want to uh, select our language here and also our edition, which is going to be Windows 10. This will give us options to install Windows 10 Home or Pro. I'm going to leave this as 64-bit. And we're going to go next and move on to the next stage. Here we can see we'll be able to now download the ISO file. And that's what we need so we can create our own unattended install. So go next. I'm going to save that into a location and let that download. So it will take a bit of time. I'll speed this process up so you don't have to watch the whole process of it downloading. Once it starts downloading, it will verify your download to make sure that the ISO is okay in working order. And it would also then create the ISO for you, as you can see here. So let that do its thing. We've now got that done. We can click on finish. And this will close off and clean up the system. And now we can now download 7-zip. Uh, this is so we can unpack the ISO file that we've just downloaded. It's a free piece of software. It's a, a really good bit of software to use. I don't use the... WinRAR anymore, use 7-Zip, been using it for many years. You're also going to need uh, image burn to create your ISO file once we've finished, um, you know, basically making our unattended ISO. You're going to need to download and install these. So let me go ahead and uh, get this downloaded and installed on the system. Again, you can use your own software that you want to use. Uh, this is just the one I prefer to use myself. So I'm going to click on the download here button. So just get this downloaded. And then we can get this installed onto the system. So once this is uh, opened up, you should see this box here. Just accept their terms, conditions, and go next. Leave, that, leave this as default here. Just go next. Put it into the destination where you want to install it. And go next. I'm just going to say no here and then click finish. So that's now installed. I've got 7-Zip already installed on my system because I've been using it for many years. So if you haven't got yours, you will need to download and install it. So you can see the ISO file we've just downloaded. I've put it into a folder called Unattended ISO. You can call yours whatever you like. I've just got it into this folder here. This is going to be my project folder. So right-click on here, and we can go to 7-Zip. Inside here, you will see Extract to Windows. It will create a Windows folder inside this folder here and this basically makes it easier to manage rather than having loads of files everywhere so just right click and put it into a folder called windows so here is all our windows files here so that's what we've got to work with so you can name this whatever you like you can basically call it whatever you like i'm going to call this unattended iso inside here or you can call it something else whatever you want to do okay so basically, we've got a folder here now with our Windows files inside there. And what we're going to do is create our own unattended answer file, which we need to go ahead and do. So these are our files. So let's go ahead and go to the website here where we can create an answer file. Now, there's many ways of going about doing this, but this Windows answer file generator makes it easy. So you can create a Windows 10 UEFI or MBR, whatever you want to do. There's tutorials on here as well. Uh, location, this can be your country. I'm just going to call this UK. You can put some comments inside here as well, if you wish. 
and the product key will be the product key that you want to use now by default it just leaves a default product key inside here which is fine if you're going to be putting this on loads of different machines you would leave that as the default key but if you've got one machine you want to do it on you can basically put your product key in there except the uh, eula and also skipped um, automatic activation so if you want to skip that you can do skip license rearm and also we've got setup language and you can now put in all of your answers that you want for your particular type of unattended install give the computer a name you can call this whatever you want to call your pc whether you want to call it main pc office pc workstation whatever it is that you want to call it you just need to put the name inside that box there right so that's simple organization name will be whatever you want to call that you can leave it blank if you wish i prefer to put all of the answers in because i don't want it ever coming to a point where it doesn't know what to do and it will ask you on the screen so just give it an, a quick organization name here i'm just going to give it right tech here you can put your name in there if you wish okay so next up keyboard or input method and this is just going to be uh, English UK United Kingdom you can call yours whatever you like whatever country you're in so I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these and go through and put all my time zone uh, currency format and everything else which I want for my installation so if you're in a different country you would obviously pick the language of your country so let's go ahead and select the last one here there we go and we've got one more here down here ui language so let me just quickly put this in here as well so i'm just going to say united kingdom there we go and also network location home work whatever it is you want to put in here you can put whatever you want in yours also protect your computer turn on express settings you can turn those off or on you've got hide eula page as well we're going to say yes here and you can go ahead and select all of the things that you want to do with your particular type of install. So don't just copy mine, set this up exactly how you want your install. So just go through here and put the selection in that you want. So I'm just going to go through and put a few more things in here. Pretty self-explanatory stuff. So just go through and select what you want here. So you can see a control panel view here. I can see just under here. Uh, that's on classic view large so you can change it to category if you want to so it will be on the category once the installation is done you can set the control panel uh, size for the icons to large or small whatever it is you want to set that to and again we are moving on down to the partition settings here this is going to be for your partition uh, wipe disk yes install to disk now make sure you've got the right number here so zero is normally the default which it gets installed to so main partition active and also main partition format ntfs and all that good stuff main partition letter c and so on so just put your username in i'm going to put owner inside here you can call yours whatever you like administrator group and also description admin password you can give it a password if that's what you need that's optional and password expires false auto log on yes and uac i'm going to enable that and also you've got ceop you can disable this if you wish once you've got all that done you're pretty much done here so all you need to do now once you've got all this done is download the file now you can also create files for feature configuration power plans and also services as well so there's our auto unattended .xml and that is going to be put inside this location here so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to put it into my Windows 10 install which I've just unpacked I'm going to put it inside here when we recreate that it will read that file and start reading the answer file that we've created and install the way we want it so again windows 10 features configurer and also we've got the services and power plan here i'm not going to go through all this because it will bore you to tears but basically you'd do the same thing uk or us or wherever it is you are from in the world and go through here and select all of the settings that you want to enable and disable 
be very careful on some of the stuff you might need. If you don't need Internet Explorer, you can disable that. Hyper-V, you might need Hyper-V if you want to use certain uh, features of that. If you don't, you can leave them disabled and just create the file once you've uh, got all your settings exactly how you want them. Same thing for the services. There's a load of services inside here. Uh, be careful which ones you disable and which ones you enable because obviously you don't want to mess your system up and the install up. So only disable the ones you don't need. Once you've got all your settings and all your answer files inside your Windows 10 installation, we can now create our ISO. So go here and browse for the folder. So click browse, this little button here. Select the folder where your install is. You can see here, that's the install of our Windows 10. Select this folder and make sure you're in that right folder here. Okay, so click select folder. Once we've got that done, we need to choose a destination. So let's choose a destination to store our ISO file. So I'm going to click on this button here and we're going to store it inside here. So we can create a new folder if you want to. Call it Windows 10 and uh, you can call it wherever you like unattended. Just something like this. There we go. So we can put that into that folder. So that's our finished project. Click save. And what we need to do now is make the ISO bootable because we've unpacked it and we need to make it bootable. So to do that, we need to go up to the advanced options here. And from there, we're going to go to where it says um, boot disk. Make image bootable. And from here, we need to get the boot image file. Now that's stored inside the windows that we unpacked. So go into that directory. You can see we're in the directory here, go to boot and then choose the file here. Okay. ETFS boot.com. So get that one done. And now change the sectors to load is eight. And once we've got that done, we're pretty much ready to create our ISO. So click on this file here to build. And there we go. It's saying you've only selected one folder. Okay, I, I can see what it's doing here. So basically what it's going to do is if I click yes here. So you need to make sure you're in the right uh, folder here. So just say yes. And then also this will give it the ISO name. So it's going to be called that name there click yes there we go and that's going to rebuild that for us and click OK here it'll take a bit of time but once that's done that should be completed and now you've got your bootable ISO so that is done so what we're going to do is take a look at the ISO file we've just created so push the cross to close out the program and go to our project folder and look for our ISO that we've just created, which we put in this one in Windows 10 unattended. And there's our ISO file here. So let me just open this up so you can see inside here. So 7-zip open archive. So let me just go ahead and open the archive up. And there we go. And you can see the files inside here. That's our unattended file. So let me just close that off. And uh, what we'll do is open up VMware here and we'll go ahead and install Windows 10 on here so you can see basically how that works. So normally you would go through a bunch of click yes, click no, and do all the activation process, all that stuff inside here. You'd have to react with it during the installation process. This unattended ISO will basically just go through from start to finish on its own and install Windows 10 without you having to react to certain questions and answers and accept EULAs and stuff like that. Uh, it will just go ahead and install. So let me just uh, get this set up and ready. And we'll go next here. Now, of course, this will be on a real machine for you. So if you're installing this on a real machine, you will basically go ahead and install this and then walk away and come back and it'll be installed. You won't have to do anything. So I'm just gonna give this a bit of memory here 
and then we can move on to the next stage so that should be about enough let's just go next leave this as nat that's fine go next and uh, once we get this installed you'll see it will just go through and install it on the system so go next here create the disk next and i'm just going to create a one single file here there we go okay so we're ready to install so i'm going to click finish and now we can click on the power on the machine and once that's done you'll see it will go straight into the installation process now I'll speed this process up a little bit and skip some uh, certain areas but you won't have to uh, do anything it will just go ahead and you read your answer file which you created your unattended file and it will read all that and basically install it to your settings that you chose which is very useful without if you're doing this on a regular basis it just saves time from having to keep doing the same thing over and over so you should get to this stage here where that's going to install it's going to install all of the updates and stuff and then it will move on to the next stage you will get a few reboots but you won't have to intervene or anything like that it will just basically do it itself so it's quite a useful thing to do if you install this all of the time and you just want to basically get it installed without having to go through all of the same um, patterns it just saves a lot more time and there we go the account called owner has been created and it's already getting us getting it ready for us and we don't have to answer any of the silly questions that it asks all the time about Cortana or anything like that it just goes ahead and installs Windows 10 on the system very simple and easy to do and there we are we're at the desktop now and that's all completed and there's our account and everything's all done so basically that is it that's basically how you can create an unattended install for windows 10. i just want to say a big special thanks to all the people that have joined my youtube members group there's been some more members joined so a big thank you to all of you that have joined your names are rolling up on the screen right now my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk Thanks again for watching and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.